So normally when you try and play Elden Ring with an unsupported GPU, the game opens up for a few seconds and then it will close back down to desktop. There's a guide online that I've seen that apparently fixes this issue, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out for this video. Hopefully everything works out well and I don't get banned, but we'll see. I am going to be using a GTX 750 Ti for this video as well, just, just for reference. And yeah, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at the GitHub page for this guide. It's only 5 steps, it's very simple, no one should have an issue with it. And I'll be linking that down in the description as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download the modified file. And then we want to go ahead and go to um, System32 which is found in C, Windows and then System32. And we're looking for a D312 and a D312 core. And what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and copy those two files into the game folder. Which you can do by going into Steam and then Elden Ring, Manage and Browse Local Files. And you can see where you, you can see the game folder. Alright, after we do that we want to go ahead and rename the uh, D3 D12 DLL into anything else. And we want to go ahead and copy and paste the downloaded DLL of the GitHub page into the game folder. And lastly, we want to go ahead and disable the anti-cheat, or else we'll get banned. So, just want to go ahead and rename the anti-cheat file, which is called start underscore protect underscore game. It's got a blue icon on it. You just want to rename that. And you want to make a copy of the actual a game exe and rename that to start underscore protect underscore game, which was the original anti-cheat's name. And let's go do that right now. There we go. And it will take the picture of the anti-cheat. Alright, I've gone ahead and started up Steam in offline mode. And I've also disconnected myself from the internet just because I don't want to risk getting banned. Although, you should be fine. Even connected to the internet, you should be fine. As long as you have disabled the anti-cheat itself, you should be fine. Alright, let's play the game. See if it actually runs now. We do get a black screen instead of a white screen. And there's the Steam overlay, so I'm guessing it's working. Yep, there it is. There's the, there's the intro. And the game seems to be running fine, even though it's not supported. Just something to keep in mind is that Apparently after every update, the game will go ahead and enable the anti-cheat again. So you will get banned if you don't go ahead and disable it again. So everything will reset after an update, apparently. So you just want to keep that in mind. Let's go actually test the game out now. We are running the game now. It's actually playing. We're running the game at 1080p on the low preset, I believe. And the frame rate's kind of low. I was expecting a little bit more, but we obviously have plenty of headroom. We can just bring it back down to 900p. And look at that. Wow, 35 FPS, 39. This feels great. I mean, I'm also surprised. We only have 2 gigs of VRAM with the 750 Ti. So, hopefully, we don't run into a VRAM issue. And keyboard and mouse controls still suck. I have no clue what, what the keys are. But I might plug a controller in later on. Alright, now I've gone ahead and plugged the controller in because I was unplayable with the keyboard and mouse and I've also brought us to the starting area which has seen the biggest FPS drop out of like any area in the game. It's this and the and some dragons also cause FPS drops as well but this area will cause will cause a 38 to drop down to 45 FPS at any preset at any setting. So good test and like we saw before we were sitting at 40 FPS in the castle area which is it's mostly indoors, and here we're sitting at the lowest we've seen it was 30, the 30 to 35 FPS, which is uh, more than playable. You just want to make sure that you cap your frame rate, because when I did, I did some extra testing in the castle area, and we had a range of 55 to 30 FPS, and at 900 p and that FPS range is just too wide. So if you get a big drop, you definitely feel that it kind of ruins the experience. So just make sure you cap the FPS to 30, just to have the smoothest possible experience. Alright, now we're running the game at 1080p, and it seems to be playable- Oh, I talked too soon. Okay, it felt fine before, it felt the same as uh, 900p at 30fps, but... Look, 
much better, much more crisp, but as we turn left, it just killed the frames. It, that felt awful. 24 FPS there. And I'm gonna test out 720p, just to see if we can hit 60. Hopefully we can, but I don't know what to expect from this card at 720p. Oh, that, okay, that looks far worse than 100p. And 40 FPS, 44 FPS. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it at all, to be honest. Um, this will make the game more consistent, so you won't ever fall uh, below 30 with 720p. But you just lose too much quality. It's just, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, even then, you still fall into 35 FPS. So, a 5 FPS gain, a 5 to 10 FPS gain, I don't think it's worth it at all. Come back to 900p. It's a good sweet spot between 1080p and 720p. And, oh! Actually fell below 30 and 900p as well. So, I guess you will definitely... Oh, 27, 26. So you can definitely fall below 30 in the in the hard-hitting scenes, even at 900p. Just one last thing, I'm gonna repeat myself one more time. To make sure that the anti-cheat is disabled, and the way you can tell is when you open up the game. Uh, the blue splash screen doesn't show up, for easy anti-cheat. And again, to make sure the game hasn't gone ahead and reset the files after every update. Because you, you might do that, that's what people have said. So just make sure that it's disabled and you won't get banned. <laughs> if it's running, you will get banned for uh, playing with the game files. This also goes with uncapping the frame rate and uh, having ultra wide support. These are all the same thing. Uh, you won't have the energy disabled for that. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. That's a switch will be highly appreciated. See you next time.